Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Herb Dean, third man ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach and he made good use of it there. It got checked. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Set the pace and hit him first. Lee gets lit up by that uppercut. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. There's that sidekick. Watch the shot. Inside. Went for the inside leg kick. Yeah. 
Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice. Unable to land with that punch. Checks the leg kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Lee. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Throws the two. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in the corner. Later, you'll see him start to feel counted after blocking shots. Oh, effective use of the jab to the body there by Lee. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. Wild attempt with the right hand there. 90 seconds to go in our opening round. Oh, goes to the switch kick and lands. That was masterfully done. It's such a fast action. You draw a reaction from your opponent, and that's when you find the target. Good jab. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Much of that calf starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Oh, there's a big overhand. Four strikes to the head. 20 seconds left. Final seconds here of round one. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, buddy. Listen, you are winning this fight. I need you to stay doing what you're doing. All right? He's very open to body shots right now. I want you to go out there, and I want you to keep All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us to the replay. If he fought like this... I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready. Good. Second round here. All right, next round is underway. And for me, the big storyline in the previous round, just the head move, the shades of Tony Ferguson rolling with punches, the ability to slow everything down, and you got to think that has frustrated his opponent. On a number of occasions, he made his opponent look silly. Yeah. Because he's overextending him. He's heavy on his front foot because the moment he goes to throw, he's throwing at range, opponent slips, now he's out of position. Watch for a counter left hook the next time he can get his opponent that off balance. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can one knee to the body. I'm done. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just tries to get close. Great time. Oh, and he lands yet another jab. Hey, it pays to be the longer fighter. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, 
right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Punch got blocked there. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. To the body, and it lands. Once you can take that many kicks, it doesn't matter if they're hard or not. Those are a lot of kicks. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Great punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. All right, so he continues to badger that calf. You gotta think his mobility is gonna be compromised. Yeah, he, he's immobile. He's gotta switch stances. He's gotta. Back to the overhand right. Not there. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that point. Lee's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Counters with the right hand. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it starts to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. How you control the fight, you keep fighting behind the jab. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Right. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. His nose is significantly damaged after his opponent's handiwork in that previous frame. It's smashed. It's smashed, John, and you see the cut on it. You see the bruising. What's, it's bad now. But in a couple days, it'll be much worse. Yeah. Because that's when you get the black eyes and you start to look like a freaking penguin. The guy is taking too many shots with me. his head. Ready. He's not doing a great job of moving his head off the center line. If he wants to win this fight, he has got to be smarter in his approach. And he is toughness personified, but you got to think that that nose, in terms of his breathing pattern, is going to start to give him issues as this fight presses on. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good. Oh!
just out of range with the uppercut. Oh, another one. Oh! Oh, he gets up. The question is for Ella. Oh, my goodness. Now a knee. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but... Go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. Did a great job of getting that leg up and just right in the front. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. Those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Just misses with the left hook. Jab. Nice left punch by Scott. His nose is all crooked. It's all beat up. It's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Don't wait. Don't wait. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. up now and lands a vicious head strike. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. Now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 32 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to 